opportunity to bust the church for political expediency, for example, or for other personal reasons. Thank you. Yeah. Let me come to Dr. Makali here because, uh, first of all, I've been quite unfair to him. He came uh, a bit early. Uh, <laughs> but I can see he's a man who is self-effacing, very humble. Thank you very much, and forgive me for that as the well. The future but we governor of Kitui. Yeah, the future governor of Kitui. We, yes. we had to begin with uh, Owen, knowing that now yeah, he's yeah. the one from uh, Kilifi uh, as well. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. You, you've been following this uh, as well, and mm. uh, we, we can see... I want to just to begin from... probably comes from his constituency. Yes, <laughs> probably. This, this, was, this was the mi migration. Because we, even the wife yeah. is called Mwikamba. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I don't know if Mwikamba is a nickname or maybe it's a name as well. Yeah. But let's just begin from your own perspective. You can tell us uh, in a broader, broader perspective what you have gleaned so far mm. and how we should move forward. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Debor. I think it's good that uh, you're having us today with my colleagues here. Uh, it's actually a very sad day for all of us as Kenyans. We are all shocked with what we are seeing in the country. But I want to start by saying, Dibal, that because uh, most of us are Christians, mm -hmm. and uh, we've come through all the way from the Sunday school level to where we are today. And what I know is the preaching I've gone through since I was a very small boy, is the God, the God we worship is God of love, is God of peace, is a very merciful God. Mm -hmm. And he'll always make sure that those who believe in, in him will always be leaders but not to be led. That's what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. So with that background, uh, the Baal, what we are seeing, I think, as Kenyans, uh, even though we are saying maybe the police, the DCI, the NIS, I think we are all to blame. We are actually all get as church, yes, yes. all of us as Kenyans. Uh, because, Dibal, if you see what has been happening, and listening to my friend, uh, the deputy majority leader, you know, it's obvious that this gentleman called Mackenzie, and I, I want to confirm that uh, he, he comes from our region, because even though he might have migrated to <laughs> to, to, to coast, <laughs> but from the name, it's obvious he is a is one of our own. Uh, and uh, generally, we are very religious ourselves uh, as a community. Religion, we take religion very serious. So what has happened is, in an ideal situation, Debal, you know, in a situation where the systems work, there is no way Mackenzie would have done what he has done yeah. without Kenyans in our way. If our systems were working as expected, what am I saying? Uh, in most areas, you have what we call the neighborhood networks, where you, you will get to know who is your neighbor, what do they do. Then you have the Nyumbakumi initiative. initiative. You have the village elders. You have the sub-chief, the chief coming all the way to the, to the top. And I'm telling you, there is no way that system would have not functioned in this area. So what has happened, in that process of that information flow, mm -hmm. somebody must have looked the other side. Somebody somewhere must have looked the other side. Mm -hmm. Because you can't tell me, Mackenzie has been in this area for over 20 years, all these things have been happening, and nobody knew what was happening, mm -hmm. including us who are politicians. I can tell you, the area member of parliament there, the MCR there, they are aware of this, this has been happening. But what have they done? To make sure that you continue getting your votes, because some of these charges are very, very, very <laughs> effective when it comes to campaigns. Mm. Uh, you don't want to come out clearly as, as uh, C.S. Juma came out sometime. And, and I think that's why, we, that's why I'm saying all of us, we, we, are, we are good to some extent. But in terms of level of accountability, I think then the, the system, the security system, has failed the country. You can't tell me this has been happening when the NIS is in, a, in place, when the DCI is in place, when we have the, 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 the now called the, the, the GAO, the National Government Administration process, was in place. Mm -hmm. What we are seeing is a breakdown of our security system. Uh, and uh, and uh, I think really we need to, 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 to look back and say, when did, we send, when did the rain start beating us? Because obviously, mm -hmm. uh, when you look at this country and the system of the NIS, look at what is happening now currently. Uh, our security is all over the place when uh, 
Uh, we talk about demonstrations, people are out there. You will find mm -hmm. the security is mobilized to make sure that nobody goes out to the street to demonstrate, even though it's a constitutional uh, provision. But such a serious matter like this, Dibao, mm -hmm. we've all missed it. So we're just saying as Kenyans, there are things we must get right. One thing is we're talking about self-regulation, and at some point we are, as a country we are thinking, do we regulate the, the churches or do we allow self-regulation? I think that after debating for some time, we agreed that self-regulation is good for them. Mm -hmm. Look at what has happened now, that the so-called churches are not able to regulate them, uh, themselves. And for me, I, I have one belief. The board today, if you wanted to become a doctor in this country, there is a minimum requirement, academic requirement, that you must have this. If you wanted to become uh, an engineer, mm. there's a minimum requirement. Mm. Even a simple thing like a clinical officer, if you are to be called a clinical officer, you, there is a requirement that yeah. you must meet this. How come we don't have any minimum requirements for people who want to become pastors, priests, and all that? And I think that's the starting point. Uh, I've seen in my, in my, my village, because we have so many churches, and even in my constituency, people just get out of school, after you marry, you say, I'm the pastor, and my wife is the co-pastor. You start a church, yes. and within a very short time, the, the place is packed. And you become a bishop. Uh, you, and very soon, you are, I, I'm so many bishops, <laughs> I, I've lost count of them in my, in my constituents. I have so many bishops, I've lost count of them. So everybody's, everybody's a bishop. <laughs> <laughs> and, you are, and you know you are a bishop with only one church. You're not a bishop with a bunch of churches. So... so so we, 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 I think we have, uh, we have accepted that, let it be like that. But to me, mm. the basic principle, Dibaro, whether you are in the church, whether you are in the, 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 out there in the government, or whether you are just a, a normal Kenyan, mm. we need a, an accountability fr uh, framework for everybody. None of us should not be accountable. Mm. To, so I imagine there must be a way that even the pastors are accountable to the people they are preaching to. At one point, uh, I was actually the, the, the first chair of uh, one of my local church council. And uh, we, we, we had a very old debate. We were debating. Uh, people are tithing. People are giving offerings. And the money is, is big money. And the question is, do we need to, to, to come out every year and provide a financial report like the companies do mm. to the people who give us the money because God does not need mm. money? Mm. I, and I, I could see it's a bit of resistance, but at the end of the day, we forced that so that every year we would come through the, through the church, the general plenary, and say, mm. this year you gave us this much in terms of tithe, you gave this much in terms of uh, offerings, and these are the programs we have used this money to undertake as a church. Because you're supposed to be preaching, you're, you're supposed, to, 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 supposed to take the gospel out there to those who have not been reached. Mm -hmm. So, so this money is for that purpose. Mm -hmm. And you must tell them, how much, have, how, how much have we gone out there to preach the word of God? And this, so I'm saying, there must be accountability even when you are the bishop. You must be accountable to the people who are... Who are and that, that's what is missing in these churches. Mm -hmm. We don't have an accountability framework. So people can do what they want. But is it the implementation of the law uh, or... Yeah, or regulations no, for that law, part. Because we, we, have, we have clerics who are required to have the minimum. Th that's minimum. Yeah, all yeah, a certificate you know now, for an accredited have, theological institution. Uh, yeah. For now, every Tom and Dick can become a bishop. That's what we are, we are saying. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, actually, in mainstream churches, like, like the, the Catholic, like the African Indian Church where, where I belong, yes. for you to become a bishop, it it's, takes time. It's a process. You can't, you can't be, you know, even the Bible says, let not give leadership to those the, to, to new convertees uh, in churches. <laughs> because these are people who are likely to slide back. So for you to be a leader in church, you need to be very well grounded. People must have, you must have gone through some teachings. People must have be convinced that you, you, you believe in the word. And you know, this is what we are seeing. We have people who are coming, and these are the new convertees. And when they come, because they are not well grounded, when they come and see money, they see beautiful women in church, mm -hmm. they, 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 they get lost. Mm -hmm. So, so, so they, they stop preaching the word and start preaching things like what Mackenzie is preaching, mm -hmm. saying that education is not necessary. The Bible, when you listen to Mackenzie, and you have said you have listened to his YouTubes, and does it look to you, appear to you like that guy is not educated? Mm -hmm. He's very well educated. Yes. Even the way he presents himself, he's mm -hmm. educated. How come he's educated and he's able to preach and he's telling our children that they should not be educated? These are the kind of things we are saying. These are the wrong things in this country, and uh, uh, we, we really need all of us. Let's mm -hmm. not leave this to the government. Yes.
I don't want us to say, leave this to NIS, DCI. Let's all of us as a country, because we can't regulate uh, morals and things like so. Mm -hmm. Let's, as a country, all come forward and say, what is good for this country? And if you see something happening which is not good for the country, mm -hmm. let's not keep quiet. Me as a politician, uh, let me be ready that I lose the votes, yes. but then we have a country. Mm -hmm. let, let me lose the votes, and then we have children who have been brought up in the way it should be. Mm -hmm. But not to say that, because this charge as, as a congregation of 2,000, if I get these votes, then I, I will be the next MP, or I will be what? And th th on that side, then I look the other side. Mm -hmm. The problem here is looking the other side. The other problem we have with the bar, which you must address, and I'm happy we are all leaders here, is the issue of greed. You know, most of us in this country, even you look at the, the way these churches are, are structured, you really, you know the God we worship is not God who, who, who cares about prosperity. And actually we are told all these things, we leave them behind here. But you see the gospel we are preaching, is a gospel where we are telling the poor that if you come to my church, yes. in two years, you'll be driving a car if you are walking today. Mm -hmm. so, so you see, that gospel of prosperity. <laughs> that you, you know who, who would not dare to follow that faith, that, that I am just yes, a walk from but my it, house. It, yes. I become now part of the Baos church, and in two years, you get a new I, I've car. been driving a car, new car. Yes. You can imagine <laughs> the motivation. So, and you have seen a, a, a whole area of stairs here. Imagine selling a plot for seven million mm -hmm. and taking it to Mackenzie, handing over. This is, a, is my plot. Go with it. What do you want to do with the Eight, 800 acres. Mm. Uh, so these are the things. This, this is a question, but it, it, it's, it's also consonating that the government cannot establish, you know, uh, at a snap of a finger, if this 